No matter how much you confess Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, no matter how much you confess Him and confess yourself as a child of the kingdom, as being in the heavenly places with Christ, the place of, of dominion and authority, if your lifestyle does not match what you are confessing, it is a lie. The devil has little respect for what we say, but he has all the respect for what we do as believers. You remember the seven sons of Sceva in Acts of the Apostle? They were saying, in the name of Jesus, Paul preaches, in the name of Jesus, I have seen uh, Peter preach, in the name of Jesus, of whom I heard his story, I command you to come out. Demons, they assess people. I know a particular woman, she was possessed, she was in the church, and then because of some kind of lifestyle, she slided back, and then she, be, she became possessed. The men of God that were coming to pray for her, she would scream them at the door. Say, you, you can't come, go back. You know, lay here. You can't come. You, I know where you hide your power. In fact, there was a church in that street. She told me, that church, I can't enter that church anymore. Because she was describing where the pastor hid the power. By the altar. She was telling me. Demons know. They hear your confession. And after hearing your confession. They quickly log into their computer. Within split of seconds. They check your profile. If there is no fire of God in you. If there is no don't touch. Written against your name. You say, hey, hey, You've come to disturb us. The demons will pounce on such one like the seven sons of Skiva. 